With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so here is the question which is an example of the root hydrophyte. Root hydrophyte means that this is the water body and the roots of this plant is being submerged inside this and the leaves and the flower on the topmost area or the water surface. This is called as the root hydrophyte. So let's see the pictures. The first picture is of the nymphia. This is the water lily. This is the water lily and water lily is also called as the nymphia. This is the example for the salvinia. This is the salvinia. This is the wolfia. This is the wolfia. And over here, the third one, the third one, this is the wolfia. The fourth one over here, this is the hydrilla. This is the hydrilla. Hydrilla is also called as the water thyme. This is also called as the water thyme. Now, in this condition, can you see that the water lily, it, uh, the roots are totally submerged and the surface leaves and the flower is on the topmost surface area. Wolfia, it doesn't have any roots. Rather, it is just floating on the water surface area. Salvinia is also similar. It is floating. Can you see over here? These are the roots over here. These are the roots that is being floating. Okay. And in the hydrilla or the or the water time also the roots floats on the surface of the water and this is the plant that is present on the surface of the water. So the correct answer over here will be the nymphia which is a root hydrophyte. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.